So a trigger is an event that occurs that makes you feel like you want to use. It could be good news. So you get good news and the first thing you do is head down to the pub for a drink. Um, it could be bad news. So you've had a shitty day at work and the first thing that you do when you get home is roll a joint. The tricky thing about a trigger is that anything could trigger you off. There's no dictionary definition for uh, what could be a trigger. Anything from a photo in a news story uh, to someone talking about it online uh, to uh, even a profile name or, or being on Grinder. Think about what the triggers are and make a big list of them. So you could go through everything from being bored to lonely to even being horny um, and then having on the other side of that page a list of um, I guess management plans or other things that you could do other than using or drinking um, that would help you manage that trigger. So for example if you're horny maybe you could have a wank rather than you know for example using meth and getting on the app. And the other thing is that it needs people to realize that they have to carefully manage who they interact with so often people will uh, if they've using a lot of meth, most of the people they're mixing with will be other meth users and they'll be spending a lot of time at dealers, places, etc. So they have to reproduce a whole uh, social network and a whole way of, of uh, socialising and interacting with people. And it's a, it's a slow and careful and very deliberate process to be done. Maybe a strategy around that would be to avoid a house or to avoid that club or to avoid that bar. Um, and make social plans in your calendar with people who know how important it is to you to not go to that place. You know, you can have an agreement perhaps with your group of friends to, um, you know, support you in, say, drinking less or consuming less of a particular substance on a particular evening. Um, even providing yourself with alternatives. So if usually your Saturday night out is to go down to the pub or to go out partying, you know, maybe you can intersperse that with every second Saturday you have a, a movie night or a dinner. Um, you know, providing yourself with fun, enjoyable alternatives can help you to um, break out of um, established patterns that you want to change. And one of the hardest things is actually trying to step away from people who, um, you know, f who are encouraging you in some way to continue the behaviours that you yourself don't want to be doing anymore. Um, and what's really hard in that is that sometimes you have to sort of say goodbye to these people for a little while while you manage your own health and well-being.